All right, everybody, we are back on Keep My Five Alive with a, another SHTF box. And I am excited, well, as excited as you can be about SHTF, because sometimes it's not so great. But I'm excited about this one because it's a big box. And that just kind of, I guess, like the kid in me just likes to get a big box. This box is about twice the size of the last few that I've gotten. So let's find out what's in it. Oh, by the way. Um, I'm opening this with a 511 knife, and I'm doing that to remind myself to uh, tell you all that the other day I found out there is a 511 tactical store here in the Richmond, Virginia area. I did not know they had storefronts. I guess I never really checked into it, but uh, riding down the road the other day and saw the sign, and was like, wait a minute, I think that's 511 tactical, and sure enough it was. So I went in there, and that's some pretty cool stuff. Uh, a lot of clothing and stuff. Um, and then they have all kinds of bags. They have a lot of different bags, magazine pouches, and uh, things like that. Um, some of it's pretty expensive stuff. Uh, so I don't know if I'd be getting any of those from them. But um, this knife, you know, I, I, I used this to remind myself to mention this. Um, this is a 511 knife, and it's it's a twenty dollar knife. So I don't know what I expect, but it you know it it's it's advertised as. Um, nylon plastic nylon filled handle or whatever but it's only on one side it's metal on the other side and uh it, it's super sharp i've had this for a little while it's super sharp but it is not assisted opening so i don't i don't carry it that often because it's it, it's not an assisted opening knife basically is why i don't carry it often but anyway yeah i was co it was cool to see a store one of their stores locally here i did not know they had storefronts that's what this all started about really and I, I just kind of started rambling there. Look at my cat chasing the knife. Get out of here, silly cat. All right, so we'll see what we got. Did they put the card on top this time? Maybe it's not. Oh, wow, there's a bunch of stuff in here. Let's see. Let's see if we can find the card and all this mess. Oh, my God. All right, so we might just forego the card for now. It's probably underneath this. Or underneath of whatever this is. Or maybe I didn't get one. I've had that happen before. This is a knife that's come out of the package. Okay, I don't see the card. So we're just going to go with what we got. All right. Black Ronin. Black Ronin. What is this thing? Some kind of... Some kind of sword or something? It's a short sword. Yes, it is very much like a short sword. It's got a, that's kind of a weird cut out there. I don't know if I would hold it that high up, but yeah, it is kind of like a short sword. Wow, that's kind of cool. I kind of like that. It's probably cheap. It's China stuff, of course, just like, uh, just like all this stuff. Oh, you know what? That reminds me. Oh, this is United Cutlery, Stanley China. That reminds me. I forgot to mention that about this 511 knife. See that on the blade? It's also made in China. Anyway. Yeah, that's kind of cool. I kind of like that, just being the knife guy. The, uh, you know, I just enjoy knives. I think they're cool. Seems pretty sharp. I don't have any paper handy. I do have this kind of craft paper stuff. Here, you know what? Let's see if we'll cut this. This stuff is stuff is like way thinner than than uh printer paper or whatever no it won't cut that all right that might just be because the paper's so thin seems kind of weird i don't know i'm making excuses all right what else have we got teriyaki rice cool cool this is good food storage always a good thing some of these things are better than others i'm not going to complain about this this last, these last 25 years, uh, the Wise Company ones are vegetarian. Most of their stuff is, um, but it's still food. I mean, it's, you know, there's probably four servings. Yeah, four servings. So that will go into my food storage stuff. Not going to complain about that at all. So far, I'm happy. What have we got here? This is Yuko. Wow. I'm surprised to see that. This is a Lantern Plus flashlight. That's what it says. Lantern collapses into flashlight. That's pretty cool. 
What if it's got batteries in it? Probably not. Let's see. I'm kind of excited about this. This is a, uh, oh look, a sticker. Cool. Stickers are always good. Not that I ever put them on anything, but I, I save it. <laughs> I don't know why. Alright, so how does this work? Oh, that's a little like elastic lanyard there. Oh, I see. Oh. And there's no batteries in it. You know what? I got a battery right here. Hang on. All right, magic of TV video. I instantly have a battery. <laughs> Isn't that cool? All right, let's check it out. Oh, yeah, that's pretty bright. I guess you could I guess the idea is that you set it up like this for the lantern maybe if it'll stand up yeah there we go that's pretty cool and then it becomes a flashlight that's pretty awesome I kind of like that that is a, uh, definitely a useful survival camping item there that's pretty awesome I like that I'm impressed with that I'm not complaining so far this box has been great what we got here? Light my fire. Oh, this is a light my fire. Wow, man, they got some some quality products in this one. I am uh, thoroughly impressed. I, I told you I like it when we get a a big box. These are light my fire. That's not a cheap off brand. It's not their normal trailblazer stuff. They make light my fire makes good quality stuff. That's awesome. I'm I'm pleasantly surprised to see that. And of course, we all know what these are. Of course, you know they just sent us the. Um, bamboo ones but I guess you can never have too many eating utensils paracord watch now I am a watch guy I'm a watch wearer uh, I, I actually recently have found a watch that I've been kind of sticking with but uh yeah I like watches let's see what this one's about this looks like it's yeah it's one of these ones with a ferro rod and it's kind of like a survival watch deal Let's see, yeah, and it's got some kind of weird looking cheap compass. Why is it like half green like that? I'm gonna look at this in the camera here so I can see it closer. That's that's kind of weird. I'm not sure what that's about. Well, it looks like, let's see if it's accurate. I, I know what directions are direct or which way in my house here. So let's see what we got. Yeah, that's pretty. Uh, that's pretty much right on to. Where west should be, west is almost straight out my, the front of my house here. That's pretty close. Um, the watch itself looks kind of cheap. It's got like, little plastic clips on it. It looks cheap. These dials, of course, I'm sure you could probably tell those aren't real. That's just for looks. This is just a watch that's made to look cool. It does have... You know what? There's something inside this. There's something inside this band. What is this? Not right. Where'd the package go? Paracord watch includes fire starter, emergency whistle, integrated compass, a nine piece fishing kit, fire tender, and two safety pins. Precision quartz movement. Oh, wow. That's kind of cool. Now, you know what? That just made it a little better. Let's see how it fits here. I don't like that the compass, that I don't like the side that the compass is on. I'm having a hard time getting it on. Hang on. I know you can't see anything. But I'll show you in a second. Yeah, so it's a it's a little bit big on me. I'm a normal size guy, I'm not a big guy, not a small guy, and it, it definitely flops around. And I don't I'd rather have the compass on the other side, but I think I think that probably comes off of there. Well, I don't know, maybe not. It's on there pretty good, but I, I'd rather have the compass on this side. That's kind of cool. I might see if I can take that apart and tighten it up. My daughter's pretty good with this kind of stuff. I wonder if she can tighten that up for me. But, uh, yeah, that's kind of neat. It's a uh, survival watch. I'm, I'm going to put that in the like it pile. I really want to see what's in this big box here. Cut out targets. A beginner's guide to 
moonshine distilling. <laughs> that's great. That's that's funny. I'm not not upset about that, but that that's kind of funny. I guess you know if you can distill moonshine, then um you can always use it to barter with, you know, and and have your fun with it too. That's just kind of funny. This is one of those. Like, these are the same people that make those nature guys. I can't really name it right now. Um, quick reference. God, is that that's just what it's called? No way. Anyway, that's funny. I like that. I, I gotta say, I kind of like that. That's cool. All right, now here's a box that something obviously fell out of. And it's this Redshift Rampage knife. And I think I saw it right here. It's, uh, alright, so, of course it's going to be made in China. I didn't, I didn't look to see that anywhere, but I can almost guarantee you it's made in China. Yeah, right there on the end of the box, made in China. And the assist, uh, that's a little better. Maybe it's because of all the oil they pack it in. It's a little slow. The first time it didn't even lock. That might get better with time. Let's see here. Blade centering's a little off. That's not too bad. The lock seems pretty sturdy. I mean that's just a cardboard box, but oh yeah, that's a that's pretty sharp. You could probably use just a little honing and stropping, but that's a pretty sharp blade there. I kinda like it. I kind of like it. It's a little bit bulky for me. I like a thinner knife. Um, but it's not too bad. It's just bulky right in here where these are. That's kind of cool. I can, I, I can, I can say I kind of like that. Foldable twist razor. And this is exactly what it says. It's a razor. It's a SHTF razor. <coughs> Foldable Oh, look at that. <laughs> Oh, wow. That's kind of neat. That is kind of neat. You can't really carry any extra blades with you, but that's pretty cool. That's, uh, you know, not that not that I'm ever probably going to use this. I don't know. You never know, I guess. But but uh, that is pretty neat. They got the... That thing is tight, man. They got the mechanics down. That thing folds up just right. And, but let me turn it this way so you can see, see it better. The thing folds up just right and goes right down in the tube. That is pretty sweet. Can't carry the extra blades with you, but uh, that's that's kind of cool. I got to give them that one. That, that's kind of neat. Just because it's a gadget and I'm a gadgety kind of person, I think that's neat. I think this is going to be a mini crossbow. Hey, look, there's the card. Yes, and this is a pistol crossbow. Powerful 50-pound crossbow. We'll compare it to my 150 pounds. Look at that. All right. So crossbow you get in the primary box. Wow. Foldable twist razor. $4.99. Moonshine making guide. Eight bucks. Paracord watch. $15. Man, that's way cheaper than that Wazoo one, but the Wazoo one's probably better. Rampage assisted opening pocket knife. That's in the primary box. So the pro box was the Tanto blade, the entree, the single entree, the flashlight lantern, and the light my fire spork okay all right well, that's not too bad the elite box would have had a solar charger radio and pocket snares in it what's our tip of the month this is the lifesaver in many situations where you're caught in cold weather and you've got no means of starting a fire simply stuff newspaper dry grass and leaves under your clothes and you'll be retaining significant amounts of body heat yeah okay all right anyway sorry we got off track now, this thing is this thing is super light this thing weighs nothing. It looks like it comes with a few bolts. <laughs> I, had, I had one of these years ago. I used to have fun with this. I used to shoot it inside my house, my first apartment. I'll tell you though, I had a bad experience with one of these. And be careful with these things, guys, because I, I don't know if mine just had a failure or whatever, but I was loading it. And hang on, let me get one of these bolts and I'll show you. These plastic fins right here, they don't budge. So I'm loading the thing. I got it cocked and the safety was on. And you know, it's it's got a safety. It's supposed to keep from firing. And I was loading it like this. And right about here, it went off. 
Oh, I'm sorry, you can't see that. Just realized that. So I was, I was right about here, holding it like this, loading it, and it went off. I didn't hit the trigger or anything. It went off, and these fins went through my fingers and caused severe damage to my fingers. That was that was bad, man. I, I bled all over the place. But uh, let me get this thing together, and, and we'll be right back. Next time you see it, it'll be put together. All right. So got it together here. It was pretty simple, actually. It's a simple design. Just a bolt that goes through there. A little plastic retainer. You got to kind of eyeball center by these notches on the limbs. You can see the one here. And, and my cat's trying to play with it again. There's the one on the other side. It's got a cocking arm. It's a 50-pound pull. So it's really easy to pull back. And the cat's trying to get it. Pew, pew. Um, I did have to string it like you would with a big bow. I had to put it on the ground, put my foot here, pull up on this limb while I pushed down with my foot to bend it enough to get the string in there. Even being just 50 pounds, man, that thing, uh, that thing puts up a fight. It's, uh, I don't know. Somebody stronger than me maybe could just do it. I'm sure somebody's going to be like, oh, I didn't have a problem, but it was, uh, wasn't impossible, but it was, it was a little difficult. Wow, the sights are all, it's all the way over to the right. It's not even screwed down, I feel like. I'm going to take it out in the yard and shoot it. That'd be cool. It does have kind of a hard trigger. I, I cocked it and I didn't want to dry fire it, so I just held the the uh, cocking arm and pulled the trigger. And it's it's got a stiff trigger. It's definitely got a stiff trigger. I'll put some rail lube on it. And, uh... But I think it doesn't, it doesn't look like it's, it doesn't look like it's centered right. It looks like the, look, can you see that? See the different, what is up there? Is that just me? No. Huh. I bet this thing, I bet this thing shoots to the left. I don't know if you can tell that on the camera, but it is not. This this bow limb, and yeah, this is the one I stepped on my foot, but it looks like it's flattened out, not curved more. I don't think this thing is going to shoot straight at all. That's really odd. I might have to see if I can fix that somehow. But yeah, that's uh, that's the box for this month. Anyway, that's kind of cool. I want to see what that does. I'm kind of wondering about that bow limb being bent, but... We'll see what happens. Thanks for watching. Hope you liked it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment and subscribe. And I will see you again real soon here on Keep My Five Alive.